and Bogard have dropped their helmets and their sticks and they're going to go. He was widely known on the ice for his heavy fists and powerful hits. Standing six foot seven and 260 pounds, he was an intimidating monster. But away from the rink, those who knew Derek Bougard can't help but describe him as a gentle giant. He was so caring. He, he was genuine. He was just pleasant. I just, I have so many good memories of him. Dora Sullivan has had dozens of billets over the last few decades, including Bougard during his junior hockey days with the Medicine Hat Tigers. She remembers him as a kid with a heart of gold. Bougard also came through when her family was having a difficult time. Sullivan was diagnosed with a serious disease and needed to ask him for help. I've been told I've been sick and I need to have some surgery and I said, I need you to cook for the crew. He sat so tall, grinned, rocked. I can do that, he said. That was Derek. Bugard was far from a sure thing to make the NHL. In fact, he was cut by the Tigers in his second season with the club. The person credited with elevating his game was Barry McKenzie, who at the time was with the Minnesota Wild. McKenzie says he always knew Bugard was a terrific skater, yet he lacked passion for the game. That's why McKenzie brought Bugard to a fast food restaurant for dinner after a game here in Medicine Hat. Boogie, you should, you should start forgetting about eating at Earl's, I said, because you won't be able to afford to eat at Earl's the way you're, you know, with, with your work ethic. You know, you get used to eating here at McDonald's. You, you don't have a work ethic at all. After his third rookie camp with the Wild, he finally turned his game around and proved to the organization that he could compete. He was well respected by his teammates, you know, a solid human being. And I think he really, he, he really appreciated what hockey had given to him. I don't think he really did dream that he could play in the NHL. He was an enforcer, a tough kid, and uh, one of those kind of players that uh, every team likes to have because of the protection. Off the ice, Derek Bougard was probably one of the most likable guys you'd ever want to meet in your life. He would do anything for anybody. Minnesota Wild. Sullivan made the trip to Calgary to see his first NHL game in 2005. Just one of the many memories that she holds close to her heart. She'll be traveling to Regina for his funeral in hopes of sharing some of those stories with his parents. My memories were of him as a young boy. And his mom and dad missed those. They need to know. They need to know the good things. Bugard will be laid to rest at the age of 28.